Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Before this vlog starts and we get into it, I just want to quickly show you something very, very, very cool. The sponsor of today's video, the brand new Rayneo Air 2 XR glasses. Now, if you're into technology and cool stuff, let's go with stuff, you're going to love this. I'm going to be showing you little snippets of this product throughout today's vlog. But basically, these glasses provide an immersive experience. They connect to your device and you get a huge TV, basically, virtually in front of your eyes. It's incredible. You can connect it to your laptop, your smartphone, any device that has a display output. And then you are in your own world, especially if you use headphones, for watching YouTube videos, even doing your emails, editing vlogs. I could edit through this. Watching Netflix, whatever it may be you like to do on your device. I'm not judging what anyone does with their personal time. You can watch it in full HD on a huge screen right in front of your eyes. Flights can be pretty boring, especially on planes without any entertainment. So having this just makes a flight so much more fun. And it looks bigger than any TV that I could ever persuade Lucy to have in our house. So please do enjoy today's vlog and you will see me popping up to show you this because I'm very excited about my new toy. Mm. Ooh, I'm tired, are you tired? I'm tired. Are you tired? No. Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. You join us here in Manila, and today we are heading down to Tagaytay on a little road trip, staying somewhere very cool, very excited to show you around. It's a tank. We're currently playing with our little transformer cars. They're so cool, these. See, you see this one? It's a red little dump truck. You just pop it out, turn it over, and then it like transforms into a different car. And I love them. So I went and bought a little code of chose loads from the toy shop the other day. Because I've not seen these in England, so we sort of stocked up a little bit. But they're very cool. It's a tank. It's a tank. He's got an excavator one now that turns into a tank. We've got a little ice cream truck, which I love. Um, but anyway, hope you guys are all doing well. If you're new around here, please do hit the subscribe button. We just want to quickly thank you for all the support on the latest videos. We feel so grateful that you guys are still watching us all these years on. So um, maybe comment below right now. When did you first find our channel? What was the first video you watched? How many years have you been watching us? I had someone message me this morning saying, I've only just found your channel. And we met someone yesterday that has been watching us since 2017. So like there's a huge range of um, the length that people watch our videos. And I'd just love to hear in the comments today how long have you been watching the channel? And a huge thank you to you as well. Um, if you are a short term, long term, brand new, old, whatever it is, viewer, um, thank you for tuning in again today to see what us two funny old bricks are up to. But anyway, we're heading down to breakfast in a second. Georgie's currently uh, downstairs at the lobby with someone from Hertz Philippines who have loaned us a car again. You want it to be an excavator? Would you like me to help? Yeah. Oh, you did it on your own. You don't need my help. That's so cool, mate. And they're loaning us a really fun car to drive down to Tagaytay, and so excited to show you that in a second. And it's just nice having our own car and our own space, uh, like traveling on our own. We've done so many flights recently where obviously you're reliant on airlines and other people to get you somewhere on time. Obviously we can't control the traffic here, but we quite like being in control of the drive sometimes. When you're on a road trip, it's just you, the road, some music, some snacks, like it's a nice being in your own little bubble and traveling on your own sometimes as well. But yeah, enough rambling on. You want to do it, you can do it, darling. You're very clever. So I've just realized what my hair's being coded. Grab my hair this morning. Mummy, do it. We're staying at the Belmont in Manila. It's been a really lovely stay so far, so kind of sad to be checking out already. Just one night here, but on to other things and happy to be back in Tagaytay. Tagaytay was actually somewhere that we planned to take my dad and Claire when they were here. You're yawning as well. You were the one that woke us up at 6 a.m., mate. Um, we wanted to take Dad and Claire there because my dad likes volcanoes and stuff. But when he realised that you're not able to like climb up the volcano anymore like you used to, um, he said he's less like less like he needs to go. Like he was excited to do the the lake, the hike up the volcano we did a few years ago. He saw us do it, and he thought you could still he thought you could still do that. But he said he if there's time he'd still like to see it. But he doesn't want to prioritise it over other places. So we've obviously like crammed in the beach places and like the amazing resorts and stuff that we stayed in and like Cebu for the food and things like that. So I think we did a really fun trip with them, but he said that next time he would like to see Tagai Tai. But for now, he can just watch these videos. Maybe he's still watching. Maybe they stopped watching when they were stopped being in the videos, who knows? <laughs> but it's funny for them. They basically get to watch back um, their entire holiday in 4K. You want to reach it, go on then. Every few days a video comes out and they get to see what they were up to that day. They're being reminded of things that they may have forgotten about. Um, and they're basically, their whole holiday has been documented, which is quite cool. I'd quite like someone to do that for me one day. Oh, I can't reach it. You can't reach it? Well, I have it for you then. Peppa Pig car. Are you hungry? Do you want some breakfast? What would you like for breakfast, darling? Eggs. Eggs? 
And bacon. And bacon. Anything else? Daddy's bacon. You want Daddy's bacon? Yeah. What else? Oh, I'm going to do the crumbs. The crumbs. I'm a bit mixed. No, it's not. That's dirty, Jam. No, 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 no. I need it. Can you say to Gai Tai? Gai Tai. Good boy. Yes. Yes. No. Hello again. All you have to do is connect these glasses to your device with the cable that's included. I've currently got it into my Mac and I've got a very good juicy vlog up on the screen and I am now just watching. I can now see in front of me basically a massive TV screen. I am pretty much in the vlog without the real world also disappearing. I can still see around me. I could still pick up my phone and read a message or I could grab my coffee or whatever it is. It's not like some of these devices that totally encompass you. I can clearly see on what looks like a massive TV screen over there, the vlog that I'm watching. I have volume controls here and brightness controls here. If you're liking what you see so far, there is a link in the description to this product where you can check it out for yourself. You can also pair these glasses with this, which is a pocket TV. It works with Google Home. There'll be a link to this as well. And now I basically have a fully fledged multimedia device in, in my what feels like in my brain. So I've connected this to Wi-Fi. I've then connected it to the Google Home app and I can use this to watch YouTube, watch Amazon, browse the web, watch Netflix. I don't even need my phone. If I'm on a plane or in a car or just chilling out at home, I can have this. You control it obviously by the buttons here, but everything you see is through the glasses. Unbelievable. This would even be cool to use if you need to pass the time waiting for a friend or maybe waiting for your partner to do the shopping in town. So a final thank you and a mention of the Ray Neo Air 2 XR glasses and of course the Pocket TV, the Google TV, the all-in-one device for all your multimedia needs. You can also connect this to the PlayStation by the way. I need to try that out so I could be like playing Gran Turismo with these on and it could be like I'm in the car. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I need to try that maybe this coming weekend. If you like technology, these kind of products are your thing, then there's gonna be a link in the description as I mentioned. So please go and check it out. And of course, a huge thank you to you for watching today's vlog. At breakfast now. We are hitting the road in a few hours, but we do of course always have time for breakfast. They got a really nice big buffet here. It's busy as well, super busy, but managed to get all the food that we need. So I have some chicken adobo, some bacon, and some pork. Kind of like a pork casserole kind of thing. I can't remember the exact dish name. Um, and then my usual five fried eggs. So that is gonna set us up nicely for the day. Super high protein, high energy. Gonna have some fruit after this as well. Hi, sorry, I, I actually just took a wrong turn. So I just need to pass through. Okay, sorry, thank you. <laughs> Great, all right, guys, we've just picked up our car. We very kindly had the car delivered to us by Hertz, hooked us up with a car for this little road trip today. Um, but the first thing I do is make a wrong turn. Now there's wrong turns and there's wrong turns. I've made a wrong turn into a McDonald's drive-through. <laughs> I don't know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh yeah, wrong turn. You just wanted a cheeseburger. You wanted some, some food, but no, Alive. genuinely, Alive. you can drive later, Coda. Mm -hmm. Genuinely made a wrong turn. I thought I could cut through the McDonald's to save some time to like exit on the on a different road. Turns out I entered a one-way system with one lane straight through the drive-thru. So I've never waited in a McDonald's drive-thru without getting food at the end. But anyway, good news! We have our ride. We are on our way now to Tagai Tai, staying at a place called Twin Lakes, which I'm just super excited about because it's somewhere that we've never been before in Tagai Tai. Uh, sorry, wrong turn. <laughs> she looks very confused. I wonder if anyone's ever done, people must have done that before. Although it's pretty hard to do, turning into a McDonald's drive through Anyway. All right, we are on the road. We are now down in Tagai Tai. You're in the back. Coda just said, I'm in the back. Beautiful sunny day. We were a bit concerned because it started raining in Manila and the weather was super gray and cloudy. But we've come down here, few clouds, but the sun is out, blue sky. Very nice place. Cooler temperature down here, love that about 
Tagai Thai, especially out here. Hello, hi, afternoon. Hello, really nice lobby. Just getting our room key here, Welcome. luggage going in. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Queen Lake. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank nice you. to see you. Welcome. How are you? Hi, nice to see you. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> what have you got? Wow. Oh, let me tell you what she's got. Yeah. Come in, come in. Yeah. What's that? Is that yours? What do you say, Dad? My bear. Good boy. Chocolate. 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 Here, when you get hungry, you can have some. Wow, that's a big supply of cookies. Cookies. <laughs> being being spoiled you. already. Say so thank you, Ate. I'll get down. You want to get, you wanna get down? down so you can so you can look yeah. at the cookies. You see, Oh, yeah. He can call me Tita because I'm uh, too old. Yeah. <laughs> <Too tall. laughs> well, this is rather lovely, wouldn't you say? Very nice. This is grand. This is epic. Really, really cool room. Look. It's kind of like... um. What's it like? It's I almost like old English. Farmhousey. No, it's like some like um, Disney, like Disneyland. The room's like... When you see Disneyland vlogs, when they've got like a themed room and it's like Princess Castle vibes. It is a bit like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like even around here, like oh, looping yeah, around. Look there. It's like Disney. Oh, there's a pool. Wow, look at this view that we've got. It's Amazing. like a rice terrace, I think. I know what Lucy means actually when she says Disney kind of thing. Like the top of that almost looks castle-ish. It looks... Yeah, we went to Disneyland for the first time in uh, Tokyo and they had residences, or not residences, it's like where you stay, you can stay for like weeks and then you go to the park every day. And it kind of looked like this. It's got that all, also kind of American kind of feel at the same time. And it is a little bit magical actually, looking, wow, the view here. I'm going it now. That's where we're going. I'm so lucky that you want to go in it now because that's exactly where we're going. So guys, we have the swimming pulled up, the floor, the pool is on. Heated infinity pool. Heated, yes. L4, oh. L4 brackets five. Oh, this is a, you can't because you haven't got any shoes. Nothing beats a heated pool. I know the Philippines is hot, but you still need a heated pool. Oh, it's very relaxing. I feel like I should stop talking. It's very relaxing. Uh, you net now? Wow. Yeah, you can go in net now. This is so peaceful. It's so quiet. It's like serene infinity pool overlooking the Tao Lake. It's amazing. Hi, ah, oh, great. Thank you, yes. Uh, L111. Uh, Lucy. Yeah, thank you. This is so nice. And Tagaita doesn't actually feel too cold this time around. It's, it's cooler, definitely, but I'm just in a swimsuit and I feel fine. Um, it's a little bit misty today, Tao. We saw it looking better when we drove in and it's kind of covered over again now with, with like fog or mist or whatever. Um, but it's so cool here. So nice, an amazing view. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to show you the view a bit better, but honestly, it's amazing. It's quite overwhelming that you've got just like the huge building behind you and then this amazing pool. So we're gonna swim. Oh, tell mommy how it is. Is it warm or is it cold? You wanna walk? Whoa, is it's it warm, cold? it's heated. There's a really shallow bit over there, which is like a bath. And then this bit's just the perfect temperature. The, the, the only cold thing is the wind. When you like get your body out a little bit, the wind here is cold because the temperature down here, south of Manila is so much cooler. It's actually really nice. Where do you wanna go? You wanna see the edge? All right, come with daddy. Let's go over here. Ready? Ready? So a fish that we kind of only get in this region, right? Yes. Wow. Steam race. Thank you. Okay, guys, the food is coming out. It looks. What's my head? I need a haircut again. I have three. That'll be my third haircut in the Philippines, huh? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's fine. Thank you. No, go ahead. The food looks amazing. We've got bolalo, which is known in Tagaytay. Thai. We've had it before. We've come here, actually we, we drove here especially once to try it at this 
place. We also drove here especially for Buko Pai one time, didn't we? The lighting is insane in this restaurant. Really, really good lighting for vlogging. Koda's got his spaghetti, he's happy with that. We also have some steak and ribs on the way as well. So a big feast this afternoon. We're also both planning on using the gym this evening. The gym is 24 hours here. So um, no excuse to not get in there really. So if you don't know, um, Bolalo is kind of like a beef soup. It's basically everything, Bolalo is everything I love about food. It's beef, it's meaty, um, it's like, the soup is meaty, it's full of vegetables as well. I guess it's kind of healthy. The, what did you say, the, be the meat is soupy, what did you say? The soup is meaty. The soup is meaty, but also the meat is soupy. Yes. So really you get the best of both. You do. Well, let's give it a go. Try the water, as George calls it, in the soup. It's meant to be called a broth, but George wants to call it the water. <laughs> very nice, very meaty. I love that beef flavour. And then I'm going to try some of this beef now. Thank you. Mm. That beef just melts in your mouth. Oh, really? Mm. Mm. Oh, thank you. Nice and salty as well. It's very good. Delicious. Best bulalo I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I've had probably, I mean, I'd say I've had a lot in my time. I don't know what a lot is. I've probably had four or five times? Ten? No, ten. ten. At least ten. Okay. Yeah, true, yeah. Twelve. I made it. Wasn't as good as this. Guys, I've found a tripod no. in, a sh in the form of a pepper grinder. Don't do it, it's not worth it. Yes. Nope. Yes. No hands. Lucy, if this falls, I'm blaming you. All right, can you hold the camera for me? Lucy's not shaking her head behind the camera because she's got a face full of balalo. The worst thing about vlogging, when you wanna, you want, we wanna share the food with you guys, but we also just wanna root, just eat it. We just wanna get in there, but it's like, okay, I'll hold the camera and film Lucy while she's eating this delicious food. I'll wait. You, you do learn patience being a vlogger, I guess, don't you? I'm running out of patience though. Okay, we're trying the local fish, so we've broken it apart a little bit. I've got a kind of soy sauce vinegar, onion, chili kind of sauce going on here. I'm gonna go straight in. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. My kind of fish that is. That is really, really delicious. Very fresh. It's kind of like, stop reaching for that balalo. This is my part. I get to eat some fish here. It's kind of a fish that doesn't taste too fishy, if that makes sense. Which I prefer. I prefer like a more, more of a chicken fish. No, more of a <laughs> kind of donkey sort of flavor. Oh. Um, no, it's more of a fish that I could just eat a lot of. It's meaty, it's substantial. Bizarre review of a fish, but fair enough. And a bear. And there's a cat. <laughs> Dino something. Dino something. T-Rex. <gasps> T-Rex. T-Rex. Is that a song or did he just make that up? <laughs> that I think he made fun. it up. Dino stomping. T Rex. Anyways, we're at the kids' area now. T Rex. Something. Maybe it's a song. Coda, how's the kids' area? Um, good. Wow. What's your favourite bit of the kids' area? Um, I like the kids' area. It's, it's blue. It's blue. What do you like in the kids' area? Um, um, a slide. You like the slides? Letting Coda have a little bit of a play, pre-bed, post-dinner, really, really delicious meal there in the restaurant. Was glad to try some of the local food. You gotta have Bolalo if you come here. It's delicious. Lucy said it was the best she's ever had. But we are gonna love you and leave you now. Are we ending a vlog? We're ending a vlog. I know, we're really, we're really bad at filming outros. So apologies for that. It's just sometimes like, Realistically, we do have a two-year-old and there is like a bedtime routine and like bath. Once we've been laying next to him to get him to sleep until yeah, like 10 o'clock at night, we do not want to come out and end the vlog. It's just, we're too tired. Yeah, so sorry that there has been a lack of outros, but we're outroing today. Yes. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm actually having a massage tonight. A what? A massage. How many have you had this week? Uh, Six in seven days. Are you talking about per day or? Only one per day. <laughs> 
not, it's not, nothing crazy. Yeah, the hotel's got a spa here. They offered us a massage and it was massage. my turn. Can always say massage, don't you? Massage, yeah. massage, like whatever. Massage. Tomato, tomato. Oh, but we are gonna love you and leave you for another day. Thank you so much for all the love and support on the videos lately. Oh, no. If you've watched this flaw, flaw. Can't speak. This is why we don't do outros as well. We're so tired at this point in the day. If you've watched this far, you know what to do. Comment, end of vlog club. If you that is your access to the club. You just have to comment. Yeah, then you're in. It's then you're in, easy. you're it's in the club. Free to join. We are a strong group right now, seeing so many end of vlog club comments on the vlogs. So yeah, thanks again guys, and we will see you in the next video very, very soon. Can you stop doing that? Doing what? I don't do it again. Smashing my knee with your phone. Only drumming. You always drum oh, on yeah, me. Oh, right on the bone. Right, right on the kneecap. Anyway, Bye. thanks guys. See you later. I, I, I mean, <laughs> see you in the next vlog. Goodbye.